dried and mulched at the base of the tree. This work has to be done immediately after the rainy season. Simaruba is naturally resistant to pests and diseases. Even termites remain hesitant to attack Simaruba, as is evident here. While the barks of a nearby neem tree are attacked, Simaruba is left untouched. It has also been observed that cattle, sheep and goats do not browse on Simaruba. Simaruba fruitlets start ripening during March and are ready for harvest by April and May months. The tree takes 20 to 30 days for completing the fruit ripening period. Harvesting of fruits is done by direct picking or by shaking the fruit bearing branches. Fallen fruits are hand-picked or collectively swept and gathered. Nutlets are separated from the pulp by using a depulper. The water containing the sweet pulp is used for vermicomposting. This serves as excellent manure for the growing plants. The nutlets separated from the pulp are sun-dried and stored in gunny bags. The nutlets are decorticated to separate the oil-bearing seeds from their shells. The shells thus separated can be used as fuel for boilers. It can also be used in the manufacture of chipboard. The seeds are fed to the oil expeller and oil is extracted. Simaruba's oil potential is around 1,000 to 2,000 kilograms per hectare. The oil cake is bitter in taste and is not recommended for animal consumption. The cake makes excellent manure as it is rich in nitrogen besides phosphorus and potash.
The oil is tasty as a medium for cooking and can be used in the preparation of various dishes including bakery products. In Central American countries, it is the most popular cooking medium and is marketed under the brand name Neve. The fruit pulp holds promise for the production of beverages and jam. Trees bark, leaves and roots possess medicinal properties for curing various abdominal ailments and malaria. The oil is also used in the manufacture of paints and cosmetics. The wood is used in the manufacture of light furniture, matchboxes and also for pulp in paper industry. No wonder then that the tree is considered auspicious in many parts of Central America and is venerated as the Paradise Tree. Simaruba is rightly called as Paradise Tree by the Central American people because of the maximum benefits they have got from this tree. Its impact on the society's life standard is very much impressive. The life standard of poor farmers gradually goes on improving at the rural level. It creates employment in such a wonderful way that crores of people at the rural level are going to be employed. And it checks the migration of rural people to the urban areas in search of livelihood in the lean months of the year. Its impact on the environment is enormous. It evergreens the grey soil surface and then reclaims the wasteland. It prevents soil erosion, recharges groundwater, it absorbs excess of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, prevents pollution and it also contributes to the reduction of greenhouse effect and global warming. If a farmer takes up Simaruba cultivation in the wastelands, he need not spend large amount of money. For establishing two elite plants of Simarba, only one rupee is required. And the net income per plant after 60 years by selling the nutlets is 10 rupees. And after 10 years, the farmer will get 100 rupees by selling the nutlets of Simaruba. And if the farmer grows Simaruba for quality timber purpose, then he will get per plant 5000 rupees by 15th year. So, the farmer will get from the nutlets 10,000 rupees per acre and 5 lakhs rupees from the quality timber. Simaruba with its ability to flourish even in degraded wastelands is our hope for an oil rich future. Simaruba cultivation holds the promise of taking India to a surplus edible oil producing country with enough for every home and enough to export. And our nation will take a big leap forward as the largest oil exporter in the days to come.